down into the sticky con oh, oh! 48 in the pit. Hard into the hole. Hard into the wall and the caution. Austin Dillon also oh. seventh. And Ty Dillon hard into the wall once again. Corner. Then he got loose. Corrects the car into the side of Austin. Uh, sorry, A Alex. Alex locks it all up. Hard in the outside wall. A big run by Alex Bowman. Oh, oh. Harvick's into the wall. Harvick tags the outside oh, wall. Hang on to it. Right hang on to it. Hang on to it. Of the hang field on to it. Come get out of turn number two. Out. Get a spun around here. We're open, Dan. A little bit of contact right to the left rear quarter panel. Martin overcorrects the car. Knocks the wall. Oh, and he goes down. The 18 of Kyle pushes into the wall. It was the end of Reddick and he went down the round very fast. You have to imagine. There had to have been a tire issue. The right rear tire is down right there. That glass bump. Doesn't that look like a bump to you, not a right rear tire issue? I don't know. I couldn't win. <laughs> like to get another shot. Oh, no, into the there. wall of the nine of Chase Elliott. Oh, out yeah, of turn right four, there. Chase Elliott into the wall. You see the fire coming out the right side. And he comes right back in front of the fire on our right side here. And the... Oh! Kyle Busch gets into the 17 pusher. Pusher trying to stay out of traffic. He's up. But a spin behind him. That L38 car hard into the wall. And the Alfredo. That also into the playoffs. And up into the wall. The four blue and white rear tire. Hold it. Hold the brake. Hold the brake. Hold the brake. Hold the brake. Oh, he's coming down to try to get a pit road. Wow. Yeah, you oh, can. got Matty D too. I did. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming he's trying to get a pit road. Hitting from can't do that. The middle of the racetrack. Yeah, you can lay making it work. Oh, 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 oh. and the 42 slides, tags the 43. Bubba Wallace back into traffic, and the outside wall caution comes out. He's up the racetrack. And the 22 almost into him. He has to check up. They all check up behind him. And the four almost got into 22. Now the three wide. And out oh, goes the 18. He catches the 19. Buck Trucks Jr. into the wall. Straight. Get going. They're wrecking behind him. Pick it up a little bit. Contact. Cole. Custer involved. Fire the highest of high. Oh, we got a spin on the back straightaway. Big crash. 42 involved, 47, 48's back there. Bubba Wallace in the 23. And that's 18, and then Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch slowly gets through it. Eight, six, so good, six. Did he save enough fuel? Through three and four, for the final time, down to the bottom of the racetrack. He has done it. He saved enough fuel. Kyle Busch wins in Texas. 22, pushing that eight car back up to the three. He wants to take away the draft from the rest of the crew, from everybody behind him. His son, Ace Ford, about a month ago, he'll be cheering for dad. He's going to win in Texas. Austin Dillon gets the win. Yeah. Locks him in to the championship for in Phoenix. Gives his team two weeks to work on that car. Kyle Larson, a dominant performance. He leads 256 laps, and he'll win in Texas. Phoenix, run for a title. Good job. For nothing is guaranteed. Even with a 1.1 second lead, he goes to the bottom of the racetrack. Through three and four for the final time, and looking for career win number three. It's going to come at Texas. Tyler Reddick wins in the Lone Star State. Just wanted to continue the streak. They go back and start over. 15 years. And he's got enough fuel to do a burnout. The driver that has so much familiarity with victory lane. Hello everybody and welcome to the Texas Motor Speedway for the NASCAR Cup Series AAA Echo Park Automotive 400 here at the Texas Motor Speedway for the first race in the Cup Series round of 12. Tyler Reddick, one of our championship contenders, 
Starts on the front row alongside Ryan Blaine. So get ready to get underway and what could be a very chaotic race like the Xfinity Series simulation yesterday as we are green and underway from Texas. Tyler Reddick and Ryan Blaney in the front rows. We are back underway. Who is he going to be clinching their spots in the round of eight? Or we have a new winner like Joey Logano who's going to go three wide to the inside lane for the lead. Here comes Logano. Him and Reddick and Blaney are three wide. They're four wide behind them with the 24. William Byron four wide. There's going to be some contact into the wall. goes the 24. They're crashing down the back stretch. Byron Haley spinning in front of the pack. Briscoe is involved. Chastain, I see that's Priest in the back here, Almondinger, McLeod, Ty Gibbs collects damage, the big one, uh, once again, strikes on lap one here in Texas, you see William Byron in front of everybody, Harvick, the four, big damage, he hits the bumper of William Byron, significant damage sustained to Kevin Harvick, you see some old, uh, full speed here, Byron gets turned head on the outside wall by Haley and Almondinger, and everyone else back here is just collateral damage, how about the draw back there by the 48 and the 20, getting slowed down, and avoiding but big damage to Ryan, and Priest is number 41. Ty Gibbs damage in that 54. And the, oh, there's one there. We're going to get up here. The front stretch. Eric Jones up in the air. And the hosts of R it is well. Suarez, Sindrick, Yaley. Another huge crash racing back to the line. Both legacy cars destroys. You see Hosovar turned a hard Eric Jones bumper up in the air. Lands on Daniel Suarez. They go crashing with Hosovar. Yaley back up the track. Sindrick, a championship contender involved in this incident. And the carnage continues to erupt here at Texas as your race leaders Joey Logano now back to the last lap of coming to the last lap of stage one it is Kyle Larson in the five leading has been after that huge crashes on the opening laps are pretty much all calm as back to the line Kyle Larson looks to get his, his solid stage win this season be his third stage win of the year of course your most recent race winner but I don't won the Bristol night race in our last episode unfortunately he missed the playoffs so that did not get him into this round where we'd have a chance to get to the round of eight and try to defend a championship four appearance but no, he missed the playoffs, but he still got that win in the Bristol Night Race. Something he wanted to check off of his list for the second time in his career. But back to the start finish line. Kyle Larson is going to dominate and win stage one here in Texas. The runner up in the stage is going to be Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Having a tremendous run here in second. Props to Ricky. He's going to get nine stage points. Then it is going to be Joey Logano, Tyler Reddick, Austin Dillon, Denny Hamlin, Justin Haley, Zane Smith, Ty Dillon, and Ty Gibbs, the top 10 in stage one. What a weird top 10 as Kyle Larson is your stage one winner. Now back, the, back out of here in stage two, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. is also able to be your leader. He's got three lap cars in front of him. Almondinger, McLeod, and Gilliland trying to hold them off as he got lap cars all in the bottom lane. This could create another chaotic restart. Of course, the start of this race, we saw a huge, huge crash. It's been pretty calm since then, but you never know when a big one's going to break out. Like how Cindric almost hooks Truex down the back straight away and causes a big crash. Oh, what a save. That could have been huge for a lot of guys back here that are contenders in these playoffs as we work our way around. Three and four, three wide behind us. There's going to be almost kind of, they all hang on to it. We get a clean lap on the green, but three wide. Both interstate batteries, playoff cars of Bell and Gibbs side by side. Racing Chase Elliott back here, the 48. Larson in the five. Bowman, Bush, they're all back here trying to get positions here late. Here uh, at the beginning here of stage two, trying to avoid the carnage. And there goes the 54. Ty Gibbs into the outside wall. The nine of Elliott involved as well. Gibbs. Hard in the wall, Christopher Bell involved as well. Larson, your stage one winner is collected and the caution will come out, another big crash. Here in Texas for championship contenders, Ty Gibbs, Christopher Bell and Chase Elliott involved. And that is detrimental to Ty Gibbs who entered this race six points below the cut line, the 12th seed, could not afford being wrecked. He goes hard in the outside wall, Elliott gets damaged in his belt. Gibbs teammate Christopher Bell also piles into this, who's the number one seed. But luckily he has a big enough cushion where I think he still should be okay. But a big crash here. Texas bringing out the yellow. As at the front of the field it is Tyler Reddick in the 45 who is now taking the lead. And will lead us back to green once again here on lap number 89. So Reddick leads the way. Ryan Blaney in second. Stenhouse third. Christopher Busher doing a great job in P4. And then Chastain right now running out your top five. So Reddick and Blaney trying to lock spots in the round eight with the win. But you never know what can happen back here. We still have a bunch of playoff contenders in the danger zone, as I call it back here. You got the two of Cindric, the 41 Ryan Priest lap cars on the bottom. Fighting against lead lap cars at the 48 Bowman. Ty Gibbs, Christopher Bell are still in the lead, lead, lap, back here, lead lap back here after that incident. But we're three wide. Almost four wide here. Coming out of four into the wall. Contact. And we got multiple cars spinning. A big crush has erupted here at Texas. And Ty Gibbs is upside down. Barrel rolling down the front straight away. Night barrel rolling on his lid. Ty Gibbs rolls on his lid up and over. 
big playoff implications. Christopher Bell once again involved in this incident as well. Joey Logano is collected. Chase Elliott is involved. Many, many playoff players to see. Chase Elliott and Ty Gibbs were way up on the high side of the racetrack. Elliott clips Gibbs. Gibbs also, well, he's spinning down the track right as Zane Smith goes wrecking in front of them into Haley. And then you have cars going everywhere. And then Gibbs gets slammed into the outside wall. Hard hit. And then Chase Briscoe launches Gibbs upside down as he rolls on his lid. And that will make Ty Gibbs DNF from this race and be in a virtually must win to make the next round of the playoffs here after this hard crash at Bristol, including involving his teammate, the 20 of Christopher Bell and the 9 of Chase Elliott, who's having a rough playoffs but still got through the first round but is involved in multiple wrecks today. But Ty Gibbs done for the day in Texas after being upside down. As Ty the Reddick is finding the lap car, Brad Keselowski, who's a championship contender, back to the start-finish line. As Keselowski tries to get back one lap down after being two laps down on this restart, Keselowski is going to beat Reddick to the line, but Reddick is still leading here in Texas as we get back at it on lap 92. And it's official, the 54 of Ty Gibbs, our first championship contender out of the race, and will finish in 33rd. Here at Texas and coming into this race, the 12th seed is not going to help his case. Gibbs is going to have to make up a lot of points or win either Talladega or the Roval. But he did win in Talladega in the simulation earlier this season. So keep that in mind. He could be a contender there. As now we watch the lap car of William Byron on this restart. Of course, is the main cause of that lap one crash. And now monitoring if any other big wreck is going to erupt like we just witnessed with Ty Gibbs going up and over. Oh, Connor does the 11 and Denny Hamlin down the track into the wall. It goes Denny, saves it, but up ahead we got more cars spinning. Cindric is involved, McDowell's around, Almondinger, and another huge pileup here in Texas. LaJoy, Zane Smith, Briscoe pile in, Austin Dillon collected. A huge crash that was one of the weirdest ones we've seen where it kind of had two self like two wrecks that are already happening combined as McDowell getting clipped by Hamlin just wipes out Almondinger and sends a bunch of guys back up the track and just collects the whole back half of the field back here. And another big pile up crash into turn one in Texas as what a chaotic start to the round of 12 and it's only gonna get crazier from here. We still have to race a Talladega on the Roval people. This is gonna be insane. But back to front of the field, it is Reddick leading by Bubba Wallace way up the racetrack there. Daniel Suarez almost wrecking. They save it, but Reddick will continue to take control of this race in stage two. But now Ryan Blaney is your leader as we get back at it on lap number 98. Alex Bowman running in second as he came in the 11 seed. He's trying to find his way to the round of eight. Of course, last season in 2003, made the championship four. I believe finished third in the championship standings. Had a solid run there. Yeah, Elliot, El Chase Elliott is somehow in third after everything he's been through. That's pretty darn impressive. Bells, oh, we got trouble behind us. Bubba Wallace is wrecking. We got a huge crash. Bubba Wallace, Austin Sindrick, Denny Hamlin involved. Big hits. Harrison Burton collected as well. Zane Smith in it. And a huge crash down the back of here, Texas. As this was separate from the up ahead, the 45 Tyler Reddick pounded the inside wall, but Bubba Wallace hard into the rest of the pack back here. Cindric gets up in the air. Zane Smith goes around. Denny Hamlin goes head on to the inside wall off of BJ McLeod, who is having is having a solid run. But see, the 23 Bubba Wallace just gets clipped right there by McLeod, spun around, doesn't save it, and up the track to a hard, hard hit. For the 2 and the 38, everyone else back here, nowhere to go. Including Denny Hamlin just gets cleaned out by BJ McLeod and then slams right back up the track and gets drilled by Michael McDowell. And how did the 99 of Suarez get through that? That is impressive. But here's another replay of this huge pileup in Stage 2 at Texas, which has been the most chaotic stage so far. And oh, Gillen gets turned head on in the outside wall by LaJoy after the record's already finishing up as it is Blaney still leading in a wild, wild race in Texas. And now we resume racing on lap 113, down to 14 on the lead lap. Blaney, Chastain, Kyle Busch, Kyle Larson, and Alex Bohm in the top five here in Texas as we try to get through stage two to the magical number 166. That is the lap where stage two on lap 166. If we can get there, get through all the carnage that we have been witnessing. We might be okay to have a decent finish here, but this has been an absolute wreck fest of a stage. So many cars being destroyed. We monitor back here. We got Justin Haley, Ryan Priest, Ty Dillon. Uh, sorry, that's Corey LaJoy in the seven battling it out back here, but what a wild start. There's no smoke up ahead. We got trouble. We got cars in the wall. There's the eight of Kyle Bush is around. Bush into the wall. Suarez, McDowell crashing. And then once again, Christopher Bellison gets slammed to the inside pit wall right there. Big damage 
to the 20, but Kyle Busch in the 8, one of our championship contenders who had a clean car up until this point, goes crashing as this started way out of 3 and 4. Him and Almendinger and Byron get squeezed together, multiple contact, they hit the wall, they save it. They're good until Bush gets spun right there and then Ty Dillon turns towards up to McDowell and causes this huge pile up back here where everyone else has nowhere to go. But Bush damage, Harrison Burton gets spun out afterwards. Bell has significant right side damage as Blaney continues to lead this race as we get back underway on lap 119 now. Trying to finish this darn race. Ryan Blaney leading Ross Chastain running in second. Tyler Reddick in third. Chase Elliott fourth. And how about Ty Dillon somehow having a top five run in a playoff race here at Texas out of the 17 of Christopher Busher's as we this lap car. Corey LaJoy in the 7. Extremely slow back here. Cars stacking up everywhere. And oh, we got cars in contact. And around goes Almendinger. Haley is in it. Swore as Bush again. And Byron as a five car crash. We'll bring out the yellow again in Texas. Both calling cars. Daniel Suarez, Kyle Busch, and William Byron involved. And now you want to the last lap of stage two where Tyler Reddick looks to get the stage victory and propel himself to a chance here to punch his ticket to the round of eight and get 2311 racing. A chance to fight for a championship if he can get it done in the next round as he might advance here as he's on a tremendous run here at Texas. I see we have for the lap car of Harrison Burton across the line. But Reddick has been dominant for most of the day as Tyler Reddick will win stage two in Texas. Get another playoff point to his cause. Your runner up in the stage will be Ross Chastain. Third will be the five of Kyle Larson. And then fourth will be the 99 of Daniel Suarez. He's going to come through right here to get some seven stage points. And fifth will be Alex Bowman with 48. And sixth will be Chris Buescher. Both of them getting big points. Then McDowell is seventh. Ty Dillon eighth. Ninth is Kyle Busch getting a crucial two points. How about BJ McLeod getting a stage point here in Texas? But now we move on to just two laps to go in this race. Tyler Reddick and only four other cars on the lead lap. Himself, Kyle Larson, the five, the one at Chastain, the 17 of Busher after he. Uh, caution came out at a very interesting spot in this race. Reddick has gotten most of the field a lap down, shockingly, as he's going to take the white flag for the final time. Larson's in second, but he's just running out of time to catch up because he's been gaining, but he's out of time. White flag, final lap. Presented by Credit One Bank here at Texas for the 45 of Tyler Reddick. A spot in the round of eight on the line if he can hang on for one more lap around Texas here. And will punch his ticket and 22 Racing's ticket for a chance in the next round to fight for a championship. As Tyler Reddick goes through three and four for the final time here in Texas. He is going to get it done and the clutch for his second win of the season. Tyler Reddick wins at Texas. He's out of the round of eight. Kyle Larson, your runner-up. Third place, Ross Chastain. Chris Buescher comes home in fourth. And around down your top five is the 12 of Ryan Blaney. And then sixth place will be the 48 of Alex Bowman. A much-needed good run. Daniel Suarez, seventh. Chase Elliott, a huge eighth-place finish. Michael McDowell, ninth. And how about BJ McLeod, earning his fourth top ten finish of the season. Coming home P10 today here in Texas. Other playoff drivers... Uh, Kyle Busch ended up in 12th. Brad Keselowski, 14th. Kevin Harvick, 15th. And Ryan Priest, 17th. And now we're going to look at the updated playoff grid with all the carnage that we witnessed today. How is that going to affect the playoff grid? Well, we're about to see in a few short moments. We're going to find out the playoff grid. up the playoff grid of course Tyler Reddick clinches his spot in the round of eight with two more races left in the round of 12 at Talladega and the Charlotte Roble Kevin Harvick is only 12 points above Kelly in second so it's still anyone's game here in this round of the playoffs and Bell and Busher and Blaney narrowly above the cut line and Bowman Elliott and Kyle Busch the last three drivers above the cut line right now Bush six points above Keselowski who had a good run but still out by six points Ryan Priest out by seven then Austin Sindrick out by 20 points pretty much he's have some really good runs to make it and Ty Gibbs almost already in a must win out by 30 points heading to Talladega so until we have the Talladega second race of the round of 12 I hope you all have a good one